and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and the most reliable coins on the market right now. Make sure to use code Poodle for 20% off at checkout. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And a lot of people have been asking me how to use the John Madden coach and the best way to put them together. And if you guys don't know what John Madden coach is, He's pretty much an upgradable coach that started in Baden Madden last year. So John Madden was a legendary coach from real life. Don't call me dumb, but I'm pretty sure he coached for the Raiders before. I, I, I'm, I'm positive, but I don't. in case I was wrong about that, don't kill me in the comments. But John Madden, he's an upgradable coach. So now most coaches in this game are upgradable, which means you can put chems on them, but John Madden is different. He gives the whole team a boost. So like, if you put John Madden passing on, let's say, which is one of his chems, he gives the whole team passing. So he's pretty awesome. Because if you combine him with Kems, you can get your players up higher overalls. Like, specifically last year, if you had John Madden on and, like, um, offensive and defensive Kem, and you had everything set up with a lockdown stuff, your players could have went upwards of, like, two overalls just from having them on the field. It really makes your team a whole lot better. And you can even use them to close gaps. Like, if you, you guys don't understand how thresholds work, right? So to clear a threshold, you need to hit, get above a 90. So like, let's say you have an 89 zone coverage and you have lockdown on already and you can't get above. John Madden, you take his uh, pass D and you get right over the top. He helps you kind of close gaps, make your team better as a whole, and he upgrades everyone. He gets multiple of them. So you don't have to pick one. For the time being, being that we are in season one, series one, you do have to only pick one because we only have one collectible so far, but you will get more. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what John Madden coach looks like and then go into this. But before we get into this video, boys, if you haven't already, make sure to go down below. Hit the sub button. You guys have been enjoying the content. You've been watching me, or you're new to the channel on this video. Make sure to hit the sub button. You guys won't regret it. I promise you that. We put about three, three videos out a day. Fire content. You can ask anyone. We're trying out here. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like button. Let's get this video to 150 likes. I, this was highly requested, requested in the comment section, guys. So that's why I'm doing it. And I feel like a lot of people are probably confused on this. Now we go to newest. This is what John Madden coach looks like. John Madden master coach. He has like that Von Miller card-esque looking thing. Now, Coach Madden will continue to get more upgrade tiers and chemistry choices with each series updates. So like I said, you have to keep waiting for each series. So now let me show you guys where you get John Madden Coach and how much he costs. So you go over to the store, browse the store. And you're gonna come over to competitive currency, four over, and then all the way to the right. You're gonna see Von Miller, Von Miller Nat, Coach Madden Collectible, Coach Madden. So these little Pentagon looking purple icons are the trophies in this game so if you guys don't know what trophies are trophies are how you pretty much the currency you get for winning games so like weekendly gives you trophies solo battles gives you trophies not just for per game it's like per series so like you play a whole weekendly you get trophies at the end solo battles you get trophies at the end seasons trophies at the end that's pretty much how that works now trophies are pretty awesome because they allow you to get pretty cool things like von miller which i already have now for john madden coach it can only cost 10 which is very cheap you can probably buy a ton of them but only one you can only buy one but the point is, is that you could get more. Now, Coach Madden Collectible, there are two more you can get. But like I said, it's going to be kind of hard this series to get them. Only because unless you play a ton of seasons like all day, a thousand's a lot. I only got a thousand from a whole month of Weekend League and then a thousand for Von Miller from Weekend League and everything just combined. To get a thousand, to get 3,000 trophies for all three collectibles is going to be kind of hard at least at this moment in time. As the game keeps progressing and we keep getting more weekend leagues and stuff, you will obviously get closer and closer. But this is where you buy the collectible. So John Madden by himself doesn't do anything. You need to buy John Madden and then his collectible. And that's kind of why John Madden as a whole goes for only 10, but his collectible goes for 1,000. That's kind of how that works. So pretty much you need both. You have to have both. If you don't have both, they're not useful. Now, again, if you just buy the collectible without the coach, you probably won't even have that issue because if you can afford the collectible, you can probably afford the coach for 10. And if you can't, just go out and play some seasons. You'll get it pretty quickly. Now... To show you guys how you guys upgrade them, you come over to the item binder once you purchase both of them. Like I said, you go over to newest, which will for me newest because obviously I just got them. If not, you have to just search them through coaches. You go over to John Madden upgrade. Now, when you come over to upgrade, you're gonna see obviously right here you got to upgrade them up. So here's where you put the you put his um his chemistry collectible in. So you're gonna where I have downgrade item, you would have bought that collectible for a thousand. You put him in. Now you activate the slot right here. You click into the slot. He has four options. There's Madden passing. Madden Rushing, Madden Pasty, and Madden Rushty. So obviously, Tier 1 means you only have one of them active. To acquire Tier 2, you have to have two of them active. So to have two active, you can have the same one active twice. So if you have Madden Passing 1, you get the pass blocking, the pass blocking, the spec catch, the medium route running, the blocking, the medium accuracy, deep accuracy, and break sack. Now, how do you get the Tier 2? Essentially, when you get the next collectible, you open up this slot. 
Now, with that slot, you can either get another one of any of these other ones, or you could double up. And if you double up, you acquire tier two, which is actually better because you acquire all those extra things, as you guys can see here. Now, occasionally it lags, as you guys can see. Watch this. Okay, it's not going to do it right now. Right there. So now I only have four stats, but then if you come out of here like that, you have two rows of stats. I'm pretty sure the two rows are the more accurate ones. I think this happened last year, too, where it would glitch if you go, you will go from here to here. But essentially, you should be getting all four, uh, all eight of those upgrades, which is why I went with Madden passing. But I'll go more into detail on that in a second. So, as you see, it goes all the way up, all the way to over the, all the way over here. So, typically, the first few collectibles will get him chemistries like this, chemistries like this. And then the third and fourth are going to be, I'm going to call them athleticism chemistries. So, like, if you guys know what Sprinter is, right? Sprinter is a chemistry. Sprinter and the other one this year, I forgot what it's called, maybe Grinder. Those allow you to upgrade your team's athleticism stats. Like, they're... they're the physicality stats so these just upgrade their like football playing stats like their passing their blocking all that stuff now when you get around here these are the more valuable ones so, like four and five you're gonna get a collectible that allows you to put sprinter now sprinter is if you put that on john madden it increases the speed of every player on your team that is why he's huge so like passing only affects your offense and from most most likely not even your running backs and your fullbacks but it affects your wide receivers your quarterback and your linemen your tight end now you can do pass it only affects your cornerbacks and a decent amount of your linebackers but when you get to this one, like Sprinter and stuff over here, Sprinter affects everything. That's like, that's gonna be the best one. When you can finally put a physicality cam on them and you can get your whole team up a speed, or a speed boost, plus you put Sprinter on your actual players. That is the point in the game when John Madden gives your team a boost of one speed and then you put Sprinter on your actual team and then they get another two. You get That's when you end up getting like three plus speed to any player in your team. That is that point of Madden where no matter what speed a card has, you know you can get them up. That is why last year we were able to acquire 99 speed much earlier in the game thanks to John Madden and thanks to Kemp's. But let's look at these chems, right? Madden passing gives you eight abilities. I went over those. Madden rushing gives you carrying, stiff arm, impact blocking, run blocking, footwork, lead blocking, and break tackle. And then Madden passing gives you finesse move and zone. And rush gives you tackle and block chip. So for the first one you take, see, I love pass D, but the issue is to take pass D right now, one finesse, one zone, doesn't really do too much. Like, yeah. If I could have pasty and uh, rusty, and I could have passing when I have all three collectibles, I'd love that. But at the time being, I wanted one that would affect my team the most at this moment in time, and I think that'd be passing, because passing gives you eight. It affects your lineman, your tight end. It affects even your fullback decently there because he can block. It affects your wide receivers and your quarterback. Pasty would only really affect my lineman, my defensive lineman, and my corners. And right now, my corners are already have at the zone threshold, so the zone won't make a big difference. And the finesse move, most of my linemen are better at power moving, so or like Lawrence Taylor and Vaughn already have the threshold, so it wouldn't help anyone pr pretty much on my team. But remember, if you have like, let's say you have like a Jalen Ramsey, right? He does hit the threshold. Let's say you have a cornerback and he has an 89 zone, and you can't get it any higher. You take Madden Pasty, you get him to a 90 zone, and now he has the threshold. So it all comes down based to your team. But in my personal opinion, for your first time going at this, I personally like Madden passing because, like I said, your lineman, your tight end, even your receiving of your running backs, fullback, it kind of affects your whole offense. Rushing only affects your lineman a little bit and then your, your running backs a little bit. It's nothing like too crazy with them. And then past these two limited for me, like if you can get past the one and two, yeah, you get power move, man coverage, press, finesse, and zone. But you can only get that with two collectibles. So when I get two collectibles, maybe I'll switch them. And they only cost 100 training. Do you guys know anything from last year? These things cost like 2,000 to 5,000 training. These were all really expensive. So like you couldn't make a mistake. This year at least like I buy passing. I do it for a few days. I'm like, eh, I don't really like it. Let me get rushing. I could buy another one. You don't lose the other one. And you can just keep switching them back and forth. So you could buy all four for a grand total of 400, uh, 400 training, which isn't bad at all. Considering last year, if you wanted to, if you bought passing, that was it. You were stuck with passing. You know why? Because to buy rushing now, it would cost you another 2,500 training, which is a lot of training. So I was like 200K worth of training at this point last year. But right now, you can buy all four of them, and it's really cheap. So you can just switch them if you guys don't like them. So don't think that if you buy one and you don't like it, you're stuck with it. This isn't a hard decision because you can switch them. A lot of 500 training right now is like 35K, so you can buy all of them. But I recommend getting one for now for your main one. I recommend passing. Although Pasty and Rushdie are essentially are good, they're better when you have two of them. If you just have one, take the bulk stats of eight, take all of them, enjoy them for now. And then when you get the two slots active, maybe you take off passing and you go past D twice or rush D twice to get the hit power or this twice to get the press, the man, and the power. There's so many things you could do with these two twice. Now this one is good by itself. Even the second one, like if you can combine them twice, that's even better. You get a ton of stats. But I'm saying like you, I, my recommendation would go passing twice, pass D twice, or rush D twice. I don't really, I'm not really the biggest fan of going mad and rushing unless you have a, a running back that's close on the spin move threshold. But as a whole, like I said, 
for your first one go passing in my opinion unless you really don't pass at all and then for your second time around when you have two collectibles or three maybe go pass three twice and then passing once or maybe go rush D twice passing once or passing twice and then rush D once that's just my personal way i'd go about combining these guys but that is it for the video thank you guys so much for watching the video if you guys did enjoy make sure to give it a thumbs up let's get this video to 150 likes i hope this helps you guys with figuring out how to run your john madden and how you're going to go about running your team and if you guys did enjoy comment down below what you plan to go with give me some feedback on that so i know what the consensus is and if you haven't already hit the sub button turn the notification bell to get notified every time i post a brand new video and that's it guys thank you so much for watching i'm out peace